Hey, welcome back. I want to show you how uh, some not so great examples of kickers and probably what I will assume would be the misunderstanding and why they did it the way they did, but it just shows a lack of experience with kickers and the knowledge behind them. So if you look up here, you can see we have a kicker, right? First thing I see is it's not at a 45, okay? It's at like 25 degrees. And that's both of these kickers. This one as well. And because an inexperienced person, it could have been, I've seen some journeymen do it, but I've also seen apprentices do it. Apprentice at least has the excuse of not knowing. Uh, journeyman, if you don't know, ask, it's okay. Everyone's learning something. You may, if you're a drywaller, you may not know how to do kickers. So um, that's at a 20 degrees. So it doesn't have as much lateral strength, right? You need that L over 250 or whatever that job requires but you don't have to go to the ceiling. In fact, they could have gone to the bottom of this as long as it's above grid, which it is. Also could have shot directly over here because 90 is okay, right? You're trying to prevent a wall from shifting side to side. So 45 is ideal, 90 is acceptable. Negative 45 would work too, as long as it's not visible. But the bigger issue is or not, that's not the bigger issue, but what all this causes is this whole wall has kickers in it. Well, look at that sucker move. I don't know if you can see it because my phone's moving too, but this thing is moving. I can move it easily an inch either way. Now, another cause of that, if you can see it here, this one's a better example. The elbow or the connection point that makes a, a kicker strong is outside the wall. Now, it's out, It's above the grid, that's not a big deal. But the fact that the screw is way over here and not over here where it needs to be means that when you move the wall, see how it picks up and it bends? I don't, you probably can't see that from here. Hold on, I got an idea. So now that we're up here on the wall, when I move this, look, the whole thing is picking up. Right? So you could have a hundred screws right here. In fact, they've got four screws. Well, whoop they do they're right next to each other, right? And they're not where you are trying to hold the wall. They need to be as close to this elbow as possible because that is what is going to your hard point. So that's what needs to be secure. Ideally, and see, look there, they did that right. See, they have a pin right in the elbow or bend or whatever you want to call that. that that's a good spot. Not so great down here. Okay. So just keep that in mind. This bend or elbow, as I call it, should be in the middle. Because one, if you didn't know where the ceiling was, because some of these walls are two grid and not through grid, it would be exposed and I fixed one upstairs that was uh, below the grid. So always put this in the middle, plus it gives you room to move. Now you see how big they cut this? That would stick out past this side. So you only need like a two inch tab because your screw should go right here in this elbow when the whole thing is shifted over. So I'm gonna try to take these screws out, move this over, screw the elbow right here, but it's gonna be too short. So that probably won't work. I'll, I'll have to think of something to either shim it up or I'm just going to have to put a whole new kicker up. So something to keep in mind when you're doing kickers is you got to have put or just any framing in general, right? Your connections need to be strong at the point where the connection matters, right? If it's going to, I don't know how to explain it, but you know, if I have a, a, a header, I need to screw it here, not you know, you don't want anything shifting. Screw as close to the hard points as possible uh, so that they don't shift, whether that be on ears, whether that be on a shoe, or whether it be on a kicker. I'm looking at my phone backwards, so I have no idea if you can see me. Um, just keep that in mind. So those, those are not great kickers. They don't follow the 45. The elbow bends. Uh, just things to think about. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Have a great day.